Hey guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another apartment renovation. Today I am renovating 17 Culpepper House in the Spice District of San Mishuno and this is going to be an apartment for a fashion designer. This has been on my to-do list for a while and I had some vague ideas of what I wanted to do but I've also been seeing this absolutely stunning kitchen set being posted as like a teaser of something to come soon by Harry over on Twitter and Patreon and YouTube and all of the places. I love Harry. She is absolutely fantastic. And so as soon as I saw it was available for early access, I, I, I needed it. I really needed it. And I thought it would fit nicely for this apartment because when I think of like designers in general, especially successful like fashion designers or interior designers and stuff like that, I felt like this set was perfect. Uh, and you'll see why as we're placing the island piece here. Look at this sculptural island. It is like, this is like the kitchen of my dreams. I was very, very excited. If you guys are interested in this kitchen set, this is the Brownstone Kitchen Collection by Harry. It is available right now for early access on Patreon. I'm not exactly sure when it comes out for free, but uh, it's usually about a month after the early access, but I will have her uh, Patreon linked down below uh, because I'm, I'm like super obsessed with this set. I was very excited. And so I basically used that for the kitchen. That's the only CC I am using in this build. And then the rest of the build, I use a lot of the Moschino pack because it fits so nicely for this theme, obviously, with uh, the whole like fashion designer thing. Uh, and you'll see me change the colors in here so many different times. I have these floors right now, which I think are really pretty, but I ended up changing them out for the jungle adventure ones because I was imagining since this is like one of the brownstone buildings in the um, spice district that maybe we had some older floors and the exposed brick on the walls and just like this updated kitchen, but we kept some of the more, uh, original aspects of the build, but they renovated the appliances and stuff. Uh, but just going ahead and decorating the kitchen space. I wanted some clutter, but I didn't want it to go too over the top. I think that this uh, plant on the island from Paranormal is just so pretty. And then I didn't end up using the new tables that came with this set. I ended up using these other tables that we just got in a base game update, which are actually also made by Harry to make like an L-shaped desk over here for getting some work done because I wanted like the primary thing in this space to be, hey, I'm a fashion designer, <laughs> this is my workspace. But this is also a very functional living space as well. I felt like this apartment was a good size for that. And this apartment also, I've mentioned this before, holds like a special place in my heart because when City Living came out like day one, this is the apartment that I played in. I immediately started like a City Living Let's Play and this was the apartment that uh, my Sam lived in. So it's just, it holds a special place. But I do also find it difficult to build in because there are so many windows close together. But I thought that that worked nicely for this layout because I never really have this area as like one big space. Usually over where the kitchen is, I would put a bedroom. So it was kind of nice to do something a little bit different here. And of course you could change the layout in this apartment and make this for way more than just one bedroom, but this is a one bedroom apartment. I don't remember exactly how much it comes out to cost, but um, I just really wanted to use this new CC set and uh, check it out. I know at this point I've only done a couple of CC builds and they're all apartments. And I've been getting a lot of suggestions to do a like build of like an actual house of some sort. I'm kind of leaning towards a tiny house because I think that'd be really fun uh, using some custom content. If you have any suggestions, do let me know. I've definitely seen some things that I think would be great for tiny houses. I'm pretty sure I've seen some CC that is like combining a toilet and a sink. So the sink's on the top and things like that, like space saving ideas. So if you guys have any ideas, if you could link those to me on Twitter or mention them in the comments or uh, leave them in suggestions on our Discord, there is a link in the description down below if you'd like to join our Discord server. I would love to hear your ideas because I, I think it'd be so fun to build a tiny house using some of the amazing content that uh, the community is making. And of course, if you're not into the CC builds, I don't do them very often anyway. I just was so excited about this kitchen set because that island is so beautiful. 
Uh, but anyway, I talked over like the work area. There's the L-shaped desk and then I have like a closet space over there, some mannequins. And then this is the dining. This is not a dining space. This is the living space. I combined a couple of the couches from the Moschino pack and then I decided to connect them together using the chair that makes it so it doesn't clip. And typically I would use all the same color there, but I thought it looked kind of fun keeping the chair piece black so that there was this connection that didn't match. I don't know why, I just thought it looked kind of fun. Um, adding some cutting boards over here, but I do end up getting rid of them in the ends because I decide to do a backsplash again in the kitchen with these pieces from Snowy Escape because I think they just look really nice. And then in the entryway, I am just getting a side table and a mirror. And I didn't change the wood floors in the other rooms yet, but we should be doing that shortly. Uh, getting the fire alarm, temperature controls, and all of that good stuff. And then I wanted to try and fill out the bookcase a little bit more. And then over here, I was feeling like it wasn't quite decorated enough, but I don't finish it until like the last thing. I ended up adding some like swatches and stuff on the... Uh, desk over there. I really wanted it to look like a workspace, but first I wanted something cozy So we have candles in here and I just think it came out so cute I keep bouncing back and forth between the different rooms as I got an ideas. I was like, oh wait, let me try this I also tried so many different wallpapers in here and for a while it ends up being an incredibly blue room But then I later on changed the back wall from blue to black and I know right now it's not even blue yet but uh it's coming. I was very indecisive in this room because I felt like it just wasn't matching the look of the rest of the space. I do end up going with this wall in the end, but this is the blue one I had mentioned that I do switch out for black later. I also considered having a vanity in here, but I got rid of that in the end. But I do have a couple of these wardrobes. These ones are in the base game, but they're made by Peacemaker. I think they're absolutely stunning. I'll probably end up checking out some more of Peacemaker CC in a future build. But uh, specifically, I want to do some tiny houses. I think that'd be so fun. I'm sorry. I'm getting very excited about the idea of new content. And I know CC isn't like content made by The Sims. And uh, it would just be new to me, not necessarily new to everybody else. But I'm also really excited because we're getting new content for The Sims, like from The Sims team, because I know sometime later this month, we're going to be getting bunk beds. And I'm very curious as to like what else that update entails. If it's right around the pack release, are we getting generations? Because like... I, I, I would I would be so happy. Oh my gosh, I would be so happy. Uh, but anyway, we're in the bathroom now. I used the shower from the fitness pack and I think the sink is from Seasons and the toilet is from Tiny Living. So very much not a limited pack build. I was just having fun with the theme in this apartment. Very like neutral, black, white, beige, simple bathroom. I have some pink accents in here as like a little bit of personality. I think it came out pretty cute. And then I think we get a little cabinet and a bathrobe as well. And then we're going through the catalog, trying to decorate this desk a little bit more. I get these swatches, which are from the fashion designer. Uh, I think it's called the fashion designer career. Hmm. I, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's a freelance career in the game and you can like pin those up on boards. So I thought it would be cool to put those on the desk. I also have a tape measure, we have some pencils, we have a um, like a thumb drive or a USB drive. I just wanted to get some clutter up here that looked like stuff you could be using for the career. And that's pretty much it. We're going to be heading on into screenshots. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody.